everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're using up some more book pages and we're going to be making writing boards. And these are helpful for anybody who wants to write in a journal that has been embellished or has ephemera or has been decorated. You can slip this under one of any of your pages and it just makes it much easier to write on the page. Then you remove it and you can slip it under another page and write on the page. And this can be stored inside your journal. It can be used as a giant bookmark or you could store it externally um, outside your journal. Uh, say you use this uh, sorry silk wrap or some kind of ribbon to wrap your journal clothes. Well, you can just put this on the back of your journal and wrap the whole uh, caboodle together and that would be really cool. So um, let me show you the prototypes. Basically it's a hard cardboard that is used to make a writing surface. And the thickness of your cardboard, um, you just have to ask yourself, is what I'm using thick enough? And if it's not thick enough, you need to double up, glue it together, put it under a stack of books, come back in an hour and assess. And I'll show you um, some examples of uh, board you can use. Okay, so the first prototype is uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. I was using this the other day. It's a children's book that has large, um, uh, font and the text. I like the blocks. Uh, I think they're very pretty and I just wanted to leave them as is. And the back is actually the first page of the book. It had some beautiful illustrations on it and I thought that would be just dandy on the back. I've rimmed the edges in gold gilding wax paste and I've put some corner protectors on it to keep it comfy in the hands for around the corners. Okay and this is the, whoops, the gold gilding paste that I use. Here is the company. Okay. And I bought mine at Tuesday morning. Um, I don't know if they still have it. It was a while ago. And here's another example. This one I used a crossword puzzle. It happened to be a very old aged page crossword puzzle. And I thought that was pretty. I used silver uh, uh, corner protectors here with some silver uh, gilding wax paste on the edges. And on the back is more crossword puzzle because you can never get enough. Okay. And this one, is a, a German music page uh, with a, let me show you a close up of this. This is a Gothic style font, German uh, text blocks here. I thought the contrast between the coffee color and the cream looked really pretty. It has gold corner protectors with uh, gold gilding paste around all the edges. See that? And the back is a, I believe this says natural medicine. There's some German writing and some dates and it's just interesting to me. <laughs> and uh, okay, there's that one. Now this one is from an old Sears and Robux catalog and it's from 1916. The pages are very brittle and I wanted to find a way to salvage the pages and use them in artwork so that somebody else could enjoy them as well. And uh, so I put some beautiful women on the back and some purses on the very back or on the front. Sorry, that's the front. And this is the back. And I used these brass coppery colored uh, corner protectors and uh, I didn't put any gilding on this one. I just left it as is. Okay, so that's that. Those are the examples. If you like those, stay tuned. We'll make one. Okay, very easy. Let me just show you that. Oh, if nobody's ever seen this before. This is a, a um, they have reproductions that were made in the 1970s and you get can get a hold of those. They're not too expensive. Uh, if you can get a hold of an old one, um, they're really awesome. Um, and you got, you're going to have pages for days to work with. I mean, you just, you're never going to run out of stuff in here. Um, and I had to laugh because the first page, this shows you how old the times were. Not that page, this, this next page. Um, it is just, it's just funny. It says, uh, okay, Mr. Um, Mr. American husband, you want your wife and family to have the best you can give. Give them running water in your home. Yes, you too can have running water in your home. And that was really considered a, a major luxury back then. So, you know, what we take for granted, boy, I'm telling you. Um, so, uh, something to think about. Let's make one of these babies. Okay. What you're going to want to use is some thick cardboard. And my source for thick cardboard are the backs of art pads. Um, it's about that thick. And if you look really close, if we're lucky, we can get this to focus. No, no, no. Okay. Well, anyway, you just have to trust me on that. Maybe back up a little bit. Um, there's two pieces actually glued together here, and uh, that's how they make the one piece. I don't know if you're going to see that on here for some reason. It doesn't want to focus. Okay. But uh, 
So like I said, you can double up if you need to and just make sure whatever you're making is gonna be strong enough to write on. Just use your, your, your what you think makes sense. So here's a back of a, a writing pad, sketch pad, drawing pad, anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to the size I want. And uh, my journals are nine by six and I don't mind if they're a little larger or a little smaller than the, jour than the journal, it will all work. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so now I have my uh, cut out cardboard and it's got stickers and it's a little rough and funky looking but we're gonna we're gonna make it uh, work for us and this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna bring out our old friend the sanding block and I got this at Home Depot it has different grades of sanding on either side and I don't ever pay attention to what side I'm using I just go to town and this is how I do it I go down 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 I go and then across so down 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 and then across. Down, 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 and across. Down, 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 and across. And down, 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 and across. And what you're doing is you're removing the sharp edges from your your cardboard. You're smoothing it and make it nice so it sits comfortably in someone's hand. So you want to take off those sharp, rough edges. You do a lot of finger testing. You go around. And you test. You say, okay, a little more off there. Make that nice. That's good. Feeling good and smooth. And we are good. All right. Okay. There we go. Now you want to turn it over and you want to do the same thing on the back because you want to get this edge smooth. Down, down, down. Down and draw it along the flush side. Get all the little nubblies off. Next side. There we go. Okay. Down, 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 down. And rubbing. Okay. That's very nice and soft. And the last one. Home stretch. And I'm sweating. Okay. Very good. So I forgot to turn the AC back down. Got it up to 80 in the house. What was I thinking? Probably having a hot flash. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, so we have it all nice and smooth. You just go around, double check with your fingers, and it feels good. Okay, so it feels good. You're, 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 you're on the money. All right, so the next thing, this is a very easy step. You're going to glue your paper down, and I thought we would use... I thought we would use this little guy we made last night since we used a book page, and uh, uh, we put a pretty design on it. Um, yeah, that's going to be episode, I can't remember which episode it is, but it's the one right before today. Um, we made this, and I'm going to use this for my writing board. And um, I'm going to use this glue stick and I'm going to glue it. So let's get gluing. Ready? I'll put you in frame. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. Here we go. All right. Glue, 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 glue. Unscrew. More glue. Glue, glue, glue. And the whole idea is you want to get it as, as uniform as possible. Don't worry if you over glue. And keep a baby wipe close because you're going to need it. <laughs> Fingers get gluey in this, this fun process. So if you like getting gluey, you're in the right place. Run around the edges. Just get those little extra glue hairs down. And then we're going to place our... Now grab your baby wipe. Clean your fingers first. Clean your fingers first. Okay, good. Now grab your page and kind of figure out where your center is. And then, you know, pray it goes in the right place. Here we go. One, two, three. Down. We're down. All right. It is what it is at this point. Okay, make sure your fingers are dry. And you can... Use your your whole hand tool. This is my brayer. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have it with me wherever I go, which is very handy. Okay. And then um, you can take uh, the the smooth. If you have like a roundy side of an old wooden ruler, that'll also work just to get it adhered nicely. Okay. And the this kind of glue works very well because it won't cause your paper to warple. But I'm going to show you. We're going to warple our paper on purpose and then we're going to unwarple it and I'll show you why. Okay, so basically we did that. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to use the cardboard as our tearing ruler. Here we go. And we're tearing. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Don't sweat little nubby edges sticking off. We have ways to deal with that. I bet you'll know what it is. Bet you know. Okay, got that off. This one, come down the home stretch here. Okay, there we go. Now we're rolling. All right, so we have this. 
And now we're going to take our friend sanding block again and we're going to do the same thing to take off these little edges. We just don't need them. And it works so well. I love this guy. Makes life so much easier. There we go. You see what I'm doing? Okay. Here we go. There we go. Rough edges be gone. Boy, if they only had wrinkle treatment like this, huh? I guess that would be what? Derm dermabrasion? Here we go. <laughs> Wait, I earned all those wrinkles. <laughs> okay. All right. So there we have nice, smooth edges. Get any little fluffies off. And we are good. Oh, look how nice. It's a sanctuary in the corner. Oh, I like that. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing on the back. Let's get that glue stick out and go to town. And <clears throat> almost out of my first glue stick, but I have loved this glue stick, boy. I tell you, it was like no other glue stick. Thank you, Jessica Rapp, for that recommendation. Yeah, she was right on the money with that baby. Yeah, this stuff is good. Good, good. Okay, we are there. We are ungluing our fingers like little appropriate bunnies at the dinner table, washing our hands. A fluff on there. All right, so let's put, well, we got this guy handy. Let's put him on the back. All right, well, it's going to be nice. Check. Okay, my font is going that way. My text, my text. And then I'm going to put my text same way. So if you're using a text, in a certain orientation you may want to it doesn't really matter you know but uh if you want to have it the same way just double check before you glue it down all right so now i'm going to use this mush mush okay all right there yep good all right now we're tearing ruler tearing ruler oh here you go okay it actually tears pretty easily yep okay not anymore <laughs> So we go, I, I, I'm cursed every time I say that. Don't say that. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. I'm not saying it, not even thinking it. Okay, look how well that went. That's right. Okay, so now, same thing. Ready? And go. And you can be pretty, uh, pretty aggressive because we're going to goob modge podge all over this after, and that's going to uh, tamp down any little loose bejeebers. You know what I mean? So if you have like little thingies, they're all going to get glued down and everybody's going to be happy. It'll look like it was all planned the entire time. Okay, there we go. All right. The back, the front. Double checking edges are sealed. Don't worry if they're not because the Mod Podge will handle that if they're not. But try to get a pretty good adherence. That will help your, your cause. <laughs> okay, so now let's get to the, the Mod Podge part. Where's my Mod Podge? Where'd you go? Here it is, right here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now, I have this very expensive Mod Podge tool. It can only be found in certain corners of the earth. This. Okay, it's a, basically a, a, ma a makeup sponge, I think. Uh, probably got it at Target or something like that. I don't know. But they have this everywhere. And uh, I have no idea what's going to happen to the, the stamps and the pencil crayon when I'm going to do this, but let's do it. Basically, you want thin application of Mod Podge, and this just happens to do it really fast with, with this thingy. Uh, you can also use a brush, like a paintbrush, but you'll be there a little while doing that. Okay, all right. So I did that. It'd be nice if you got all the fluffies, you know, at least off so they don't stick to the surface, but I'm hurrying. Okay, so we have this side done. Then we're going to flip it over. You should probably just let the one side dry first and then come back. And, but I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gluing this, gluing this, getting it all. Getting a little more. Getting a little more here, 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 here. And what this is likely going to cause, I'm very happy that everything is staying where it needs to stay. Um, it's going to cause some warpling of the paper and I'm going to show you how we're going to deal with that because wet glue, white wet glue uh, causes paper to warp and as, as it absorbs the water, it's um, water-based glue and it's going to make your paper warple. So I can see a warple starting to happen here. I don't know if you can see that yet, but flip over this. Oh yeah, you got some serious warples here. Expected. It's okay. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. But in, in this little downtime, and take your sponge and run around the edges and uh, seal those puppies in so we don't have to deal with any muss or fuss. Okay, 
The warpling will likely increase. Do not let that throw you. Carry on. Carry on. Yep, I'm going to show you a way around that. Okay. All right. Hey, I got some warpling. Can you see that? It's okay. It's okay. All right. Yep. There we go. Just get that all nice and in there. All right. Let's smooth out any goobers. Remove goobers. Okay. And don't worry about you get like a little schmutz on it. There's ways around that. Okay. So we got lots of warples. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to deal with that. Okay. So first thing is you want to set this aside to dry. So I'm going to leave that there for about 10 minutes until it's nice and bone dry. And I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, this is almost dry. So I'll just put my mic back on here. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink around the edges. And uh, you could have actually done this before, uh, but I forgot. So I'm doing it now. And it's okay, I can still do it now. And uh, it's taking it. So I'm very happy. And I want you to know that I already did the back. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right, here we go. Coming around, coming around the mountain. Coming around the mountain. Okay, so I'm around the mountain. Now I have that. Okay. And I have that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the fancy, the fancy trick. All right, ready? Hold on to your bejeebers here. Oh, let me just get that little glue ball out of there. You might cause trouble. Okay, Whoop. I'll just move you completely. <laughs> okay, um, so I've got a, as you can see, a wooden, uh, this is actually a chopping board that I've uh, uh, gifted to my craft room. So it lives in here now. And uh, what I'm gonna use is wax paper. And this I bought on eBay. I just, uh, it came in like maybe five or six rolls together, but we used to use wax paper a lot in Canada and um, it has a myriad of uses. But uh, today we're going to be using it to help flatten out our lumpy bumpies. And I'm just gonna tear a piece off. You may be able to use parchment paper on this. I have not tried that, but if you do, um, make sure that uh, you use the shiny side down and not the paper side because the paper will stick to your glue here and you don't want that. Okay, let me just, whoop. All right, hang on, what glue, glue problem there. Okay, I'm putting the little uh, fancy tool in a bag so it stays moist. Okay, so you put your wax paper down and then you grab, whoop, there it is. <laughs> you grab a tea towel, a uh, kitchen towel, something like that, something thin, but that can protect what you're working on. And the idea is quick and low. So you want to iron quick and keep the temperature low. And I would recommend if it's the first time you're doing it, start really low and very quick. But as you get braver with time, you'll, you'll figure out exactly how uh, you inch up on your temperature and stuff, and you'll figure out exactly where you need to be. So I've, uh, I've done this a few times. Oh boy, I'm really gonna stick my foot in my mouth with this one, aren't I? And uh, I think I'm just gonna give this a little, this is what I'm doing. I am on like a low medium setting right now. I'm gonna check for warmth. I want it to be nice and warm, but not hot. Okay, I want to be able to touch it with my hand, but so I've gotten some heat and I'm using some pressure to get out the warp please. Okay, so let's see what we got. We're going to do our first test. Peeling back. I see I have one warp loose still. This is the sound you want. That kind of sound. That means that you're transferring the wax from this onto here and it's going to give a nice surface. Uh, nice and flat and, and it's going to protect this from uh, fin wet fingers, greasy fingers, stuff like that. It's going to seal it even more and it's going to flatten out all that Mod Podge lumpiness. So let's, we still have a little lumpy bumpy in there. We're going back for one more and this ought to do it. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm using some decent pressure here, trying to let it know who's boss. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm boss. We'll see. All right, what's gonna happen? All right, okay, test. Nice and warm, but not hot. And I could go hotter, it's just that I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, what do we got there? Let's do the test, got the peely sound, that's what we want. And I got a little fold there, I don't know if that's actually, let's check our side view, can you see? Well, a lot of the warpalies are gone, you know? There's like a little crease there, but that just might've been the way I put the paper down. Look at the back. The back still has warplies. So let's do it again. We do with this and this. And then we bring this guy, the heavy artillery. That's right. This is my, did I tell you, this is my $6.97 iron from Walmart. Um, great buy. I, my dedicated craft iron because it is, it, it does the heavy duty. Yep. Okay. Where are we? Oh, we're nice and warm. 
Uh, let's just make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. All right, using a little force here and we're done. Okay, let's try that. Nice and warm, peeling, listening for peely sound. That's what we want. Oh yeah, this side did it nice. Okay, so we are, we are like baby smooth on this side. Look at all the warp leaves are gone. How nice is that? And it's very nicely sealed too. You will love the feel of this. I wish you could feel it. It's almost like a leather. Um, you know, we get that kind of texture from the Mod Podge, but this flattens everything out and it's a completely different feel. You, you got to try this at some point. Um, okay, so we got that. And then all that is left to do is put these babies on. Our little corner things. And uh, we can put some edging on this one too. Let's see, 20 minutes, that's okay. All right, what do we got, what do we got? All right, let's put a little glue ball down there. Say we did. And it's all sealed up, of course, because I always forget to put the thingy in. Okay, that's all right. I'll just like, open it up here. All right, come on, get in there. All right, hang on, I'll be back. All right, I think I got it. Yeah, all right. All right, I'm gonna put one of these. If you've never used these before, they're very easy to use. You just, uh, well, let me slide this this way. You just squeeze them on like that. But uh, you can't squeeze them on totally closed. You need a helper. And this is a rubber, like rubber pliers, basically, or uh, squeezers, jewelry tool. Um, you can find that in any uh, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And you squash, you gently squash, gently squash. Don't murder it. You just want to squash it because you're just reforming the metal, having it clamp on the side and the glue will keep it in perfect place. This also has little teeth, little teeth in it. I you can see those little teeth. Yeah, there. Okay, they help uh, grab the cardboard as well. There you go, and that's not going anywhere. So there you have that. I will pop the other four on. I'll be right back. Three on. Three. Okay, I have the others on, and they're all in place. And uh, I don't know if I told you, but you can get these at eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, all over the place. Just search for what, how, what I use to find them is book. Uh, cover corner protectors or book corner protectors um, and they come in different sizes and colors and stuff and this is kind of a coppery color so I pulled out the copper gilding paste and you should probably use a glove with this but I am going to take one for the team here and not um, and you just rub it along the side it's like a waxy paste and it uh, is creamy and soft in the jar but then it dries uh, it dries and it uh, doesn't run around anywhere after it's dry so I'm just going to put this on the edges to give the edges a little oomph and we are pretty much done. So as you can see, this is a fun way to use up some book pages. You can use any book page and you can also use some uh, delicate book pages as well uh, for this particular uh, craft. So it's kind of a nice addition to add to your uh, journals as an extra special little piece and you can spread the the love around a little bit so it shows a little more you can do a little less a little more but this stuff is great if you've never played with it once you discover it you'll be like oh where have you been all my life but they come in all sorts of different colors it's a uh, um, gilding wax paste um, yeah it's fun stuff and we're keeping our baby wipe close so there we go we have our little our little doodad done um, now this one I'm gonna do too much more with him. I maybe just darken him up a little around. I like I like to have it look like it was it was handled. Like there was some serious stuff going on with this one. Okay, see that? Yep. Okay. We'll do that with this guy's side on the back too. Okay. There we go. So all done. There you go. Not too hard, right? Okay, so let me put this up here with the other ones so you can see the other examples. We put it where you can see it. That would be nice. Okay, and here's all our examples. So it was a lot of fun, and um, I hope you guys give this a try. Uh, it's a little bit of a project, but I think the end result is totally worth it. Have fun and play and happy crafting, and um, please like, subscribe, and share this video if you find value here. And also, we have a Facebook page now for the Paper Outpost, and um, if you li would like to like and follow that, that would be totally awesome. And I would love to see what you guys are making with all these ideas, so please feel free to post your pictures and your, and your you know, you chit-chat away on there. I, I think it's awesome, and I love talking to you guys uh, through the comments as well. So um, uh, happy crafting everybody and I'll be talking to you soon. All right, take care everyone. Bye-bye.